Hi, this is Dana with Flowers by Design, and today I am going to show you how to pot an indoor outdoor artificial spring rye spiral topiary. Really easy to do. Let me show you how. So, this spiral topiary is actually great for indoor or outdoor use. And I'm going to give you a few tips as to what to do if you wanted to plant it outside. Now, um, a spiral spring rye topiary is actually uh, made out of PVC or plastic, and the color has been injected into the mold, which actually means that it'll withstand the weather really well and that uh, it'll last for a long time. Now, I'm not saying that it's not going to eventually fade or fade out a little bit depending on where you put it, but um, it's really guaranteed to bring a long time of enjoyment um, when placed outside. Uh, the nice thing about it is that it's, it's well made. It's actually uh, made um, around a steel post and within uh, the topiary, there is um, there are some twigs and some angel vine just to add to the natural look of it. Uh, the important thing when working with a topiary is that it be well positioned so it, that it will not tip one way or another. And one of the things to take into consideration is how much traffic does the spot where you're going to put this get? Um, or is it subject to wind? Uh, in that case, if it's uh, subject to wind, you may want to take a few other precautions. However, if it's not, something as simple as dirt, gravel, or sand may hold it in place. You can put that directly into the pot, or you can have a sub-pot that you work with. And um, you can take a clay pot, for example, or a plastic pot, and fill it with gravel or dirt. And um, as you're filling it in, you will maybe tilt it a little bit, pour the sand or gravel, and eventually it'll hold the topiary in place. That way, you can take the topiary and just drop it into your container. Now make sure you measure your container, you make sure that your container fits within your larger container before you do any work. Another uh, suggestion uh, would be to um, actually nail it or screw it onto a piece of wood because the base does have um, four holes that are actually made for that purpose. So that once again, your topiary will be more stable. You can always use concrete, but beware please when you use concrete with plastic with um, clay. If you use it with clay, uh, the concrete may expand and actually may crack your clay pot. So if you are going to use uh, concrete, then uh, use a plastic pot or perhaps a um, paper mache pot. Now the paper mache pot may eventually dissolve, but the concrete will stay in. And so once you take all of those um, measures, you can plant your topiary. Now for indoor use, uh, basically you do the same if it's in a location where children are not going to run into it or maybe pets won't be climbing on it, then you can almost place it uh, inside of a, a pot and then simply drop it into your other container. However, if further measures are necessary to keep the topiary in place, then uh, you may want to consider Plaster of Paris. Plaster of Paris uh, mixes with water and hardens. Now this cannot be used outside because it's water soluble, but it, it really makes for a very strong base uh, when the topiary is going to, use, to be used inside. Just follow the instructions on the bag and um, it, you're set. So to finish it off, I just tucked in some sheet moss around the base and you can either use the green side for a fresh look 
or the uh, back side for a dirt kind of look. So what do you think? Wouldn't a pair look nice? Very durable, wonderful, and by the way, available at flowers-by-design.com. Thank you for watching, and until next time, this is Donna with Flowers by Design.